Konnichiwa, everybody. Welcome back to Last Raps Baseball's Japan Baseball Report, featuring the NPB, or Nippon Professional Baseball, from Japan. Yesterday was opening day for the Central and Pacific Leagues as they began their seasons in front of no fans. Let's begin by taking a look at yesterday's Central League action. The Yamuri Giants played host to the Hanshin Tigers at the Tokyo Dome, affectionately known as the Egg, and the visitors got on the board first in the third inning when Hanshin pitcher Yuki Nishi hit a solo home run. The Giants tied the game in the fourth inning, but it was again the pitcher Nishi who came up clutch in the top of the fifth inning as his uh, second RBI of the game was driven in by a double. The Tigers wasted a good outing by on the mound by Nishi, who left the game after six innings, and Giants leadoff hitter Naoki Ishikawa belted a two-run homer to put the Giants up for good in the bottom of the sixth inning. Final score, Giants 3, Hanshin Tigers 2. After approximately a 30-minute rain delay in Yokohama, the Bay Stars finally got their opening day matchup against the Hiroshima Toyo Carp underway. It was the Bay Stars who got to open the scoring with a second inning solo shot by Jose Lopez. But after that, it was a lights out pitching performance by Carp ace Daichi Osera, who went the distance scattering six hits, walking one, and striking out four. It was a 2 1 game through eight innings until the ninth inning when Osera helped his cause by hitting a two-run shot after Kosuke Tanaka drew a walk. Jose Perella then went back-to-back, -back, smacking his first home run of the season. Of course, it would be his first home run of the season, as it was opening day, to put the game out of reach for good. Final score, Carp 5, Base Stars 1. Game 3 was a Central League slugfest special where the Tokyo Yakult Swallows hosted the Chinichi Dragons. Chinichi got on the board early as Dian Viseido smashed a two-run homer in the first inning. Not to be outdone, Tetsuda Yamada slugged a two-run shot in the bottom of the first after Tomotoka Sakaguchi had a base hit to start the frame. It was a back-and-forth affair as both teams combined for 35 hits in the most offensive game of the opening day schedule. Nor would it be a surprise uh, that both teams used 15 pitchers to get through the affair. For Chinichi, Zolio Amante, Dayan Visaedo, and Shuhei Takahashi each had three hits. For Yakult, leadoff hitter Tomotaka Sakaguchi also had three hits. This game went to extra innings, and Chinichi scored two in the top of the 10th to win 9-7. For our first game in the Pacific, we go to the Met Life Dome where the Cebu Lions hosted the Nippon Ham Fighters. Arguably, this was the most sexy pitching matchup of the opening day games as Kohei Arihara took on Zach Neal. The game lived up to its billing as a pitcher's duel. For Neal, getting the opening day nod for a Japanese club is quite an honor, especially for an import player. And Neal equated the opening day start to the similar feelings that he had when he made his Major League debut for the Oakland A's at Fenway Park. Neal faced 22 batters over six innings, allowing one hit, walking three, hitting one batter, and striking out two. For Arihara, it was one bad inning uh, where he allowed three runs in the fourth. Last year's 15-game winner did strike out seven batters in the loss. Final score, Cebu 3, Nippon 0. Our second Pacific League matchup featured the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks hosting the Chiba Lote Marines. It was the second extra inning game of the day and the SoftBank Hawks won in dramatic fashion. Number 8 hitter was pinch hit for and Kenji Akashi came in and singled to right. The number nine hitter, Taisi Makahara, then sacrificed Akashi to second base. The leadoff hitter is Seiji Ubiashi, and he tried to go to the right side of the infield to drive in the run, uh, but he grounded out second base, moving Akashi to third. Good piece of hitting by the uh, leadoff hitter by Fukuoka. 
And then the two-hole hitter with two out, Rioya uh, Kurihara, singled the center to walk it off for the win. The leading hitting, hitting stars for Fukuoka were Kenta Imanaya, who had two hits, and Ryori Ryua uh, Kurihara had two hits, an RBI, and the walk-off hit. Final score, Fukuoka Softbank Cox 2, Chiba Lotte Marines 1. The most one-sided game of the day saw the Rakuten Golden Eagles blow out the Oryx Buffaloes 9-1. Takahiro Norimoto went seven innings, allowing one hit, and the other two relievers who followed for Rakuten didn't allow a hit either as they combined on a one-hitter. Four Golden Eagles hitters drove in two runs each, and second baseman Hideto Asamura led the charge with three hits. It was a disappointing debut for new Buffalo Adam Jones as he went 0 for 3 with a strikeout in his Oryx debut. Final score, Rakuten Golden Eagles 9, Oryx Buffaloes 1. This segment of the video now will look at the import collection. This is the time where we're going to look at the players that are imported into the Japanese league and see how some of them did tonight. Jeffrey Marte went 3-for-4 to open up the campaign. Unfortunately, Justin Bohr in his NPB debut was 0-for-4 at the plate. Gerardo Pereira of Washington Nationals in Baby Shark fame was 1-for-3 in a walk. And Ruby De La Rosa followed up a strong finish to the NPP season last year with his first save. Zolio Amante and Dian Visaedo each had three hits for the Chinichi Dragons while Alicides Escobar went 2-for-5 for, for the Occult Swallows, and Jose Lopez went 1-for-4 for, for the uh, Bay Stars. The Cebu Lions got a strong pitching performance from Zach Neal, who had six innings pitched with one hit, three walks, and 2K, and Corey Spangenberg made his debut with a hit. Lastly, Leonis Martin of the Chibolote Marines went 1-for-3 in a walk, and Frank Herman had one inning, a walk, and a strikeout. Now it's time to look at the homegrown Japanese star of the night. Daichi Oshera was the star of the night for the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. Nine innings pitched, four hits, a run, a walk, and four Ks, but he did the damage at the plate as well, going two for three, scoring two runs, homering, and knocking in three runs. Here are today's probable pitchers for June 20th, 2020. <laughs> everyone for taking a moment to watch the video please leave any comments in the comment section if you'd like to know something about Japanese baseball or if you have some information for us uh, we're always looking for good stories or good pieces on Japanese players or import players that come over to Japan if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video don't forget to give us the thumbs up thanks again for watching everybody arigato gozaimasu and we'll see you again tomorrow Thank you.